Okay. I'm gonna mute everyone. <laughs> okay, if you know the answer, raise your hand and I will unmute you. So grade one, we talked about, let me put this back up. We talked about cause and effect. So the reason something happens, so why something happens is the cause and the effect is what happens. What is the result of that? So when it's hot, the ice cream melts. If you hit a baseball very hard, the window breaks. So cause and effect. Now I want to show you guys some pictures. Do we draw on the screen? No. Do you understand? We do not draw on the screen. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys my screen. Hold on a second and then, okay. So let me unmute your microphones. Okay, grade one, I am going to unmute you, but I still want you guys to stay quiet. Okay, so grade one, this is a treasure map. Oopsies, what happened? So this is a treasure map. What happens, this is the cause. You find a treasure map. What would be the effect? What happens after the treasure map? Who knows? What do you do with the treasure map? treasure. Treasure, that's right. So the cause is you find a treasure map. And the effect is you find treasure. Very good. All right, now the next one. I think I have to stop sharing it and then share it again. So grade one, this next one. Okay, grade one. So this next one, there are a lot of effects. Let me share my screen with you to show the cause. Okay, so grade one, in this photo, the cause is it's snowing. What's one of the effects of when it snows? It's cold. It's cold. What else? You can build a snowman. Good. Yuju, what were you saying? No. What else? So it gets cold. You can build a snowman. What else? Does any, has anyone ever played in the snow? Yeah. Yeah, so you can build what? Build a ball. A snowball. That's right. You can go sledding or you can go skiing, or you can go snowboarding. So the cause, the snow, allows you to do a lot of things, a lot of different effects, like build a snowman, build a snowball, put on your snow clothes, okay? And let's do one more. So let me share my screen with you. Okay, grade one, what is happening here? So someone is planting a seed. That is our cause. What's the effect of planting a seed? That's right. So leaves and plants and trees grow when you plant a seed. Good job. So the cause is you plant the seed. The effect is a plant grows. Great. That one was easy peasy for you guys, right? All right. Oh, so Luan's brother went to the snow. Very nice. Okay. So, grade one, I want to know, can any of you think of a cause and effect? 
We even were talking about this with emotions. Let's Me. say, okay, Callie, go ahead. Give your example. What? I'm sorry, I think your audio cut out for me. What did you say? Uh, the color. The color. What about the color? Red, blue, white, and yellow, and orange, and purple, and pink, and brown, and gray, and black. But what is that the cause and effect? What is the color doing? The color is turned to rainbow color. Oh, so the cause is you have all different color crayons to draw with. And the effect is you make a rainbow. Okay. What else could be a cause and effect with a rainbow? So it's raining and the sun comes out. So that's the cause. And the effect is a rainbow happens, right? Yeah. Okay, good. So grade one, which one of you watched the Lorax yesterday when I asked? I. Good. All right, and we also watched it in class. So I need you guys to get your paper now because we're going to do a cause and effect flip book with the Lorax. So I need to see everyone's paper. Good. So let me put my video again, make it big. Oh, Miss Sarah's video. <laughs> okay, so grade one, everyone take your paper and you're going to fold it in half horizontally. Right? It's long like this. Wait, I don't understand. Good, Bonnie. Ow. Everyone needs to go like this. Leo, did you fold yours in half? Like this? Okay. Oh. Okay, good, Dong Hoon. Good, Callie. Good, Ellie. Good, Penny and Kevin. Good job. Okay, Bach, are, is your family getting paper for you? Good, Amy. Good, Kane. Okay. All right, grade one. Now you are going to take your pencil. Okay, wait, let's wait for Luan for a little bit. Hold on. Good, Sunny. All right, folded in half. Now you are going to take your pencil. Good, Bach. Fold it in half. Okay, honey? You are going to take your pencil, and you're going to make three lines, three even lines on your paper. So let me show you. I know. Three lines on your paper, or two lines, sorry. Three boxes, two lines. <laughs> Good, Callie. Rio, fold your paper in half, honey. Like this. Ready. Open, fold in half. Open, fold in half. <laughs> Good, Penny. Yuju, did you get your paper? Good, Sunny. Good, Dong Hoon. <laughs> Okay, so
So then after you have your three lines, good Bonnie, good Jad, you are going to make the same two lines on this part right here. So you're going to open, open, and on the bottom half, make the same line. Okay. Let me see. Good, Callie. Perfect. Good job. Good job following directions. I think I, I think you did good job, Bach. Line on the inside, line on, good cane. Inside and outside. Inside and outside. All right. Next. No, I finished. Okay, uh, you can still keep doing it. I'm gonna share my screen with you and we're gonna start watching the Lorax. Because we need to watch specific. Lorax. And we're going to look at cause and effect. I see the tree is rainbow. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. Okay, so let me share my screen with you and I'll see if you guys remember this part of the movie. Or of the story. The Lorax. The Lorax. Because if someone like you cares a whole awful lot, things will never get better. No, they will not. So here it says, but the next week he knocked on my door. He snapped, I'm the Lorax who speaks for the trees, which you seem to be chopping as fast as you please. But I'm also in charge of the brown barbaloots who played in the shade in their barbaloot suits and happily lived eating truffle fruits. Now, thanks to your hacking my trees to the ground, there's not enough truffle fruit to go round. And my poor barbaloots are getting the crummies because they have gas and no food in their tummies. They loved living here, but I can let I can't let them stay. They'll have to find food, and I hope that they may. Good luck, boys, he cried, and he sent them away. So grade one, who can tell me what was the cause? What was the effect? Let's start with the effect. The effect of what happened. Yes, Callie. Effect. What? Callie, did you say the cause is that the trees were cut down? Yeah. So good. The cause. The trees were cut down. We're going to write that on the first one. So we're gonna draw the trees being cut down. Good job, Kelly. Draw it. Draw it, yes. So good, the tree is being cut down. Good job, Callie. And what's the effect? What happened after the trees were cut down? Who knows? No more trees. Yes, Callie, I'm sorry, Jad. What happened when the trees were cut down? 
But there was no more trees. There were no more trees, and so then what happened? Let me show you my screen again. What happened because there were no more trees? So we don't have food. The animals have to leave. So the bears had to leave. So then on the second page, that's what we are going to draw. So when you open it up on the second page, you're going to draw the bears leaving. So they had to they cut down the tree so there was no more food. So the bears had to leave. So on page one, drawing the trees being cut down. On page two, the bears are leaving. All right. All right, you guys ready for the next one? Yeah. And, yeah. and you can finish your drawings later, so just so we can get through all of them, because we're almost out of time, right, Donghoon? <laughs> all right, let me share my screen. Okay, so here's the next one. Then again, he came back. I was fixing some pipes when that old nu nuisance, Lorax, came back with more gripes. I am the Lorax. He coughed <coughs> and he whiffed. He sneezed, a chew, and he snuffled. He snarled and he sniffed. One slur, he cried with a crufalous croak. One slur, you're making so much smogless smoke. My poor Swomi, um, Tell me why they can't sing a note. No one can sing who has smog in their throat. And so, said the Lorax, please pardon my cough. They cannot live there, so I'm sending them off. Where will they go? I don't hopefully know. They may have to fly for a month or a year to escape the smog you've smogged up around here. So grade one, now again, what was the cause? <laughs> yes, Callie. Uh, the birds go out. No, that's the effect. So what caused the birds to leave? Yes, Jad. Mm. Because there was so much smoke. That's right. So there was a lot of smoke because of the factory. So let's draw the factory making smoke on your first page. Here's a quick drawing of my factory making smoke. That is the cause. And Callie, what did you say the effect was? That the birds go out. So the birds had to leave. And then on your second page, you draw the birds leaving. So the first one is the smoke, and the second page is the birds leaving. Cause and effect. Yes, Rio? I look back at the picture. I didn't see it. Okay, so Rio, did you get the first one? I see. Okay, so the second one is the smoke coming out of the factory. And what happens when the smoke was coming out of the factory is the birds they had to leave. 
All right, and there was one more. All right, you guys ready for the last one? Because it's time almost for math, and we are late, late, late. All right, last one. Ready? Let me share my screen. Almost takes a lot. Huh? Almost takes a lot. <laughs> All right, last time, last one. What's more, snapped the Lorax, his dander was a pup. Let me say a few words about gluppity glup. Your machinery chugs on day and night without stop, making gluppity glup a schloppity schlop. And what do you do with this leftover goop? I'll show you. You dirty old once in a learn man, you. Um, I can't read that. Hold on. Ew! You're glumping. Mud, I hate mud. You're glumping the pond where the humming fish hums. No more can they hum, for their gills are filled with glump. So I'm sending them off. Oh, their future is dreary. They'll walk on their fins and get woefully weary in search of some water that isn't too smeary. So grade one, the last cause. What happened? Uh, ew. The ew. Amy, do you know what happened? Or the ew. Ellie, did you have your hand up? Who knows? What was the reason the fish had to leave? Good, Rio. Good, Luan. Yes, Amy. Because there was too much goo in the pond. So he threw goo in the pond. So we'll draw on the first page, goo in the pond. Goo. Goo. It's like pollution. It's oil. He threw oil in the pond. Ew! Yeah. Can I look at the pond? I drew the factory throwing oil in the pond. And what happened when there was oil in the pond? The fish had to go out. The fish needed to leave. Good. So grade one, this is Earth Week. And we're talking about how we can make the earth better. And this just shows you the, some of the bad things we can do for the environment, right? So this is our cause and effect flip book. This is your homework for today. After you are done, you can take your scissors and cut on the first lines. All right, so you're going to cut so you can see the book. You cut like this? No, 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 not the whole thing, just the first one. All right, but grade one, we have to go. I'll put a picture of mine up for you guys to see, okay? So you guys can hand that in later. Now we have math, okay? Bye-bye, grade one. I did. Yes, Callie, good. And then you take a picture and post it. I'm going to post a picture of mine so you can understand better. But now we have math in three minutes, five minutes, okay? okay. Everyone get up and run around and then come back for math. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> good, Callie. Chicken time.